Liam Lawson has finally been confirmed for the Racing Bull seat in an emotional and surprising turn of events after Singapore. But it seems like the final destination for the Kiwi driver is not the sister team of Red Bull. When it comes to goals, Lawson's eyes are set on the real prize, which is the Red Bull seat. And after his contractual obligations with Racing Bulls have been officially released, there is a big opportunity that will see him drive alongside Verstappen from 2025 onwards. Could this be the ultimate goal for the Austrian team as well? given the latest statement that Perez is now hinting towards retirement sooner rather than later. It's safe to say that Lawson is going to be one of the most watched drivers on the grid in the last six races, and while his first venue in Austin won't start the way he would want it to because of the 10-place grid penalty for taking a new engine, the Kiwi driver is thrilled to finally receive a chance to drive in the team that raised him through their own ranks to the highest competitive step. When talking about the opportunity that's been presented to him, Lawson stated how important it is that he's been a part of Racing Bulls since day one as a reserve driver, further adding, I haven't had an easy year. Last year I was able to participate in a few F1 races, while this year I was sidelined. At the same time, without these races last year I would not have been eligible for a seat now. However, I learned a lot this year in my reserve driver role. Formula 1 is so different from other racing series, so it allowed me to learn a lot this year. You can't compare this category to other races. What is very interesting for the Formula 1 fans is that Lawson doesn't have a contract for 2025, but for the last six races in 2024 only. This goes to show that even the team is not 100% certain that he will drive for them in the following period, which is opening a Pandora's box of questions as to whether or not Perez is the next one to fall after Ricardo. The performance of the 34-year-old has been all but satisfying, and maybe we wouldn't have had this talk if he finished the race in Baku. But the crash that cost him a lot of valuable points and ultimately dropped him to P8 in the Drivers' Championship was just too much to comprehend. And in Singapore, being out of Q2 and barely scoring a point by undercutting Colapinto is not the picture you want to have as the second driver in Red Bull. Lawson himself admitted that the contract for 2025 is yet to come, because of the fact that Red Bull will evaluate all of their drivers at the end of the year and see who stands where. There's no question about it, Helmut Marker was right about one thing. The cards will be reshuffled for 2025, as he said this when the Austrian team decided to keep Perez at bay for the remainder of the season after the disastrous Spa Grand Prix. Be that as it may, we have a lot to hope for the upcoming period, and when talking about this to a greater extent, Lawson said, I'm very happy that I've received a seat in Formula 1, but there are six rounds left in the season. I've come in at a difficult time. It's going to be very challenging. These guys have done three quarters of a season, and I have to compete with that now at tracks I haven't done as well. It's going to be challenging. Basically, I've got until the end of this season and then I'll find out more as the season goes on. I need to perform. I need to try my worth in Formula 1 and do a similar job to what I did last year. That's what gave me this shot. I just need to do it now to keep my seat for next year. To say that he will be replaced by Ricardo is definitely a far-fetched scenario because the Aussie admitted that he will take a break from the sport and refuse the role to be the reserve driver for Red Bull yet again. But the Austrian team made some moves on this position by assigning Isak Hadjar as their reserve driver, with the young Frenchman now fighting for the F2 Championship with Bortoletto, proving that there's a lot of potential in him if the team knows how to extract it. On the other hand, Perez is hinted towards an early retirement because of the fact that the calendar now contains 24 races with a tendency to grow, while he has a family at home that he wants to spend more time with. This is further opening up the door for a potential Lawson move next to Verstappen. And when talking about his future, Perez went on to say, No one but myself gets to decide my future. I thought about retiring for the last six months, but it took three seconds to make a decision, because I told myself, look, it would be the easy way to leave after so many years, and in a way to give up, I would have never forgiven myself. I have two years of contract, and it's a long time in Formula 1. I don't see myself driving like Fernando, who I admire a lot with all he does at his age. Not because I don't want to drive in F1 until much later in my life, but because I have young children, so I want to spend a lot more time with them, and this 24 race calendar is complicated. With the potential departure of Perez, it's worth noting that the business accolades like Telmex and Telcal, who are owned by Carlos Slim, the man who stands behind Perez's F1 career, will likely be gone. And while you'd think that there's a small thing to get over with if you're Red Bull, I'd advise you to think twice. Remember how Perez was set to be replaced after Spa, but when pressure was applied to Red Bull from these two financial giants, the narrative changed in a matter of days, from replacing him in a blink of an eye to working on the car in order to make it more pleasant for him. 
Red Bull's narrative around Perez has changed a lot. So, this begs the question as to whether or not they are ready to see the 34-year-old go, even though he's costing them a lot in the Constructors' Championship. Lawson's goals would be easy, just be as close as possible to Verstappen and make sure that you'll capitalize on any of the mistakes or failures that could happen to the three-ton world champion. This was the primary reason why Perez was considered as the weak link in Red Bull, and the answer as to why he's still driving and not replaced like Ricardo due to bad performance is still hiding somewhere in Red Bull's camp. Maybe after all, maybe Lawson holds it in his hands. Racing Bulls made some moves regarding the promotion of Lawson. According to sources closer to the team, the decision as to whether or not Lawson will race with Racing Bulls was set to be brought by the 15th of September at the latest, and the shareholders of the team have stated their wishes yet again. We want to be a youth team, not run by a combination of a veteran and a solid young driver. But if Lawson is set to be promoted to Red Bull much earlier than anticipated, which could be as early as in 2025, then Racing Bulls would likely continue their journey with Hadjar, who will have one of the easiest ways into Formula 1 if this scenario turns out to be reality. But in this harsh world of Formula 1, it's not just about performance, it's about the money factor. Ricardo was able to keep his seat for so long, not just because of how he helped the team groom the car a little bit and jump two positions in the Constructors' Championship, which was primarily through Sonoda's 22 points compared to Ricardo's 12, but also because of how he managed to provide solid marketing value and bring sponsors with him. It was understood that Visa, Cash App, as well as Hugo Boss did not take the fact that Ricardo is leaving the team easily which applies more pressure on Lawson to attract these sponsors behind his name, primarily through performance and then through charisma and appearance. Lawson has managed to score two points in one of the most demanding tracks on the grid in 2023, Singapore, on his first ever career try, which is a massive kudos to him. But one swallow does not a summer make, and the Kiwi driver knows that his biggest opponent right now will be the driver sitting next to him. Sonoda said it best, the goal for the Racing Bulls driver is to be promoted to Red Bull, and they will do anything it takes to achieve this goal. But when it comes to the Austrian team's performance, it's safe to assume that they do not have a lot of attention towards Sonoda. Maybe because he's not part of the Red Bull family in the original way, but through Honda. And we've seen that now that the Japanese manufacturer has joined forces with Aston Martin, talks about Sonoda driving in the Silverstone Bay squad have emerged, just because of this Sonoda-Honda relation. All of this goes to show that 2025 is going to bring a lot of tension to the grid, and whether or not we will be with the same lineup for Red Bull or a massive change is coming for the second seat, time will tell. With all of this in mind, do you think that Lawson will push to the absolute extreme to prove that he has what it takes to be a Red Bull driver from 2025 onwards? And if so, do you think he can handle the pressure next of Verstappen, whose future is also to be discussed beyond 2026? Let us know in the comments below and once you do that, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.